guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to the Tiny Herd. So for today's video, I just wanted to do a nice little sit down chatty update video with you guys. Introduce you to the new pets that you guys have seen a couple mentions of and probably my cage setup video for. And then also just talk to you guys about what my plans are going forward with the channel in 2021. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So first off, let me go ahead and introduce you guys to the mice. So this is going to be a little bit hard. I'm not going to be able to get them out and show you guys each one of them because they're just not really that tame, which we're going to talk about. But this is their cage. So this is the new bin cage that I built for them. I do have three female mice that I adopted from my local Humane Society. And they're just fun little things. So let's talk about them a little bit. So there are three mice. They have been together their whole lives as far as I know. They are about a year and a half old, maybe a little bit more. And that is actually the reason that I decided to get them. You guys probably know I have guinea pigs and rabbits, but I don't have anything else. And I have never had mice before. So Part of the reason in wanting to get them was that they were so old and I just kind of felt bad that they were going to be living out the end of their lives in a shelter situation, which they were in foster care, so they were in a home setting, but the lady that had them had a lot of other animals that she was fostering and I just really wanted to give them the attention and spoiling that I felt like they should have towards the end of their lives. So that is part of the reason why I wanted to get them. The other reason and something that I did want to talk about in this chatty video is I haven't really talked about it on my channel before, but my ultimate goal basically with my life, so life goal I guess you could say, is I would really like to open up a small animal rescue for guinea pigs, rabbits, hamsters, mice, chinchillas, all those little animals, um, exotic mammals that people generally don't think are worthy of going to the vet or they just sell them, rehome them, whatever. Some people just let them out. Um, so pretty much all those animals that don't have a place to go, my local Humane Society will take them, but none of the other shelters in this area will take them. Animal control won't take them. So I really would love to open one up in my area in the Midwest so that it can be the place for all of those animals to come when they need to find a new home or need help out of a bad situation. So to tie that into why I got the mice, I don't know obviously when I'm going to be able to make that dream a reality. A ton goes into starting an animal rescue. But in the meantime, I would like to get experience with all the different animals that I would like to accept. So mice being one of them. I felt like this was a really good opportunity to get some mice for myself as pets, learn all about their care, do a bunch of research, and get firsthand experience taking care of them myself. Um, especially even as they are older, um, they are still really active and they still need all of the things that, you know, any mice would, any mouse would need. So that was part of my reasoning behind getting them as well. Wanted to just give them a really good end of their lives and I really just wanted to learn how to take care of them. So about the mice specifically, like I said, I do have three females in here. Their names are Hershey, Milky Way, and Snickers. They are honestly really tame. I was surprised. They are not hand tame at all. You can't handle them. They don't want to be handled. They'll run away if you get anywhere close to them with your hand. But otherwise, they're really tame. They don't care if I'm sitting here in the room. They don't care about noise going on. They're always just doing their thing. Um, occasionally, if something spooks them, they'll go run and hide. But in general, they really don't care about what's going on around them, which is really cool because that means I get to see all the stuff they're doing. I don't know if you guys can see her, but Hershey's is actually right here digging. Oh, there are Snickers up top. They are really active and they're so much fun to watch. So I'm already really glad that I got them. So I did want to talk a little bit about their setup. I did do a video setting up their cage for the first time, which I have made some changes to since then because they buried everything that I put in there the first time. So set it up a little bit better so that they can keep using their wheel and all of that. But this cage is a bin cage, obviously. It is 13 inches by 32 inches. When I was doing my research before I got them, I found a really reputable mouse forum is where I got a lot of my information. 
and they did have a cage size calculator on there that you could put in the size of your cage and it would tell you how many mice you could keep in there. And for this size cage, you actually could keep 6.4 mice in it. So obviously I only have three, so that made me comfortable with how much space they had. They seem to be really loving it. This is bigger than what they had in their foster home. So I think it's a really good size for them being the senior mice that they are. They are over a year and a half old, so it gives them plenty of room to burrow, climb, run on their wheel, all the things they want to do without being huge and overwhelming and be worried about, you know, anything happening to them as they are older. So that is really everything about the mice. I don't know any of their history. I have loved having them. They're so funny to watch. I love watching them do all of their little mouse stuff. So it's been a lot of fun already. So I don't know that I'm going to be talking about them a ton on my channel. I'm not going to, I'm not planning on doing mouse care videos or anything like that just because I am new to them and I don't want to do a ton of videos on them and get you guys really attached to them because like I said, they are at least a year and a half old. I really don't know how long I'm going to have them for. This is definitely a retirement home situation. I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. If it seems like I only had the mice for a couple of months, it's not because I'm taking bad care of them. I went into this adopting them knowing that I had no idea how long I would have with them, but I did want to just give them a really great home. So that is everything on the mice that I can think of. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want to know down below. But now I want to talk about a couple other things having to do with the Tiny Herd channel for 2021. Okay, so first off, right off the bat, I want you guys to let me know how this filming looks, how this video looks. I am basically planning on up-leveling everything on my YouTube channel for 2021, and I actually purchased a brand new camera, I have a microphone, and I have a new setup that I'm working on. This is the first video that I am filming on this camera, so I'm sure I'll have some tweaks and things to make, but let me know how this looks to you guys and if there's anything that you think needs changed or anything like that. But like I said, planning on up-leveling everything on my channel in 2021, I want to get better at editing, I want my videos to be better quality, and I really want to be providing quality content as well outside of, outside of just the production value. So yes, I want them to look nice and all of that, but I also want to give you guys what you want to know and what you want to see. So I know a lot of people have mentioned they want more cage cleaning, so I am planning on doing that, both talk through and music, because some people like one or the other, so I'll do both so that everybody can find something they like. Um, I also want to do a... I'm not going to commit to doing two videos a week because sometimes I'm just not going to have time to do that. So every Friday is going to stay my schedule at the moment, but my goal is for my Friday video to be my big high production, you know, educational video. And then I would, as I have the ability and time, I would like to do a second video every week on Tuesday that is more of like this chatting, sitting down and chatting with you guys, or a vlog, or a cleaning, something like that, so that there is more casual content as well as my sit down informational content. So I have a lot of videos planned over the next two months, but definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see. Obviously, I want to give you guys what videos you want to see, so definitely let me know if you have any requests or thoughts on that. And if you have any suggestions for my channel in general, definitely let me know. One other thing I did want to mention is I don't talk about it a ton on my channel, but I do have a website that is about guinea pig and rabbit care. It is thetinyherd.com, and I am going to be working on that a little bit in 2021. It's mainly going to be another place for me to share the guinea pig and rabbit care that I share here on my channel but it's just going to be basically another format, another platform. So if you want to check that out, you can as well if you ever need to look something up and don't have time to watch a YouTube video. So just wanted to mention that it is going to be something I'm working on in 2021. All right, so I think that's everything that I wanted to mention in this video. Just kind of wanted to introduce the new babies to you guys and then talk a little bit about what I'm planning for the channel this year. Again, let me know if you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see down in the comments, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.